The end of the line. The moment of truth. The proof of the pudding. However you describe it, it's this moment that counts. The cook, of course, knows what it's going to be like. She knows the things that matter. The choosing of the raw materials. And the fuddier you are in the choosing, the better they're likely to be. Then, the recipe. Your own, or from a book, or stolen from a neighbor, if your own touch is added. The cooking. Just long enough to cook properly without overdoing it. And there you are. You know it's bound to be good. And that's just how this broth came about, even though 20 minutes ago it was in a can. Let's look at the first step. What do you say to your butcher? Something like... A nice piece of stewing steak, please. Well, here's the way Heinz say it. It shall be prepared from the properly dressed carcasses of healthy cattle. Beef with the lowest possible fat content shall be properly dressed, free from offal, bone splinters, bruised areas, and extraneous fat. Shall have the normal red color of good quality chilled beef, free from all discoloration. Would you like to try that on your butcher? Uh, about a pound, please. What about the recipe? Long before any variety is produced on a large scale, the original recipe is worked out in one of the Heinz kitchens on about the same sort of scale as you would use for a large family. He's a top chef. In other words, he can cook almost as well as you can. But there are two main differences in his method. The first is that he has to keep a very accurate record of what he puts in. It's embarrassing to be told how marvelous your dish is, only to find you've forgotten the recipe. And remember, that a small error here will be multiplied thousands of times in bulk production. A little number 59? Oh, don't be alarmed. It's a natural spice that you probably have in your own kitchen. But this is one recipe you're not going to print. The second difference is in the cooking, which in the saucepan is taken only up to a certain point. It will finish cooking in a sterilizer after it has been canned. And since it is an essential quality of the recipe that it should be able to stand up to the sterilization process, the chef cans it and sterilizes it before attempting to judge it. we have a can of food, a new recipe. Take pity on it. That dish will now run such a gauntlet of trials and tests. We'll have so much demanded of it that it will be a miracle if it ever sees a grocer's shelf. The first to start on it are the professionally suspicious patrons. And just to make sure they don't confuse taste with appearance. do a thing for her complexion, does it? But believe it or not, the food tastes just the same. So far, so good. Now, to precisely the same recipe, a larger batch is made for more tasting sessions by ordinary palates. Until everyone is happy, that they have a dish which will please the public. The challenge now is simply stated. Keep it that way until the customer gets it. The 
fish must now be reproduced many millions of times, losing nothing in the reproduction. Throughout the preparation, the cooking, and the canning of any Heinz variety, the aims are keep the natural flavor, keep the nutritional value, keep it looking good, keep it pure, clean, and sterile. And in achieving these aims, there is one factor without which all the work of the chefs, the tasters, the cooks, the analytical chemists, the bacteriologists, the clever machinery, the laboratories, the whole organization would be well-meaning but futile. That one factor is the quality of the raw food itself. The unofficial Heinz motto is, buy the best food and treat it with respect. Motto is perhaps too slight a word. Obsession would be nearer the mark. This fuzziness is formalized in the written specification which every raw material must meet if it is to be acceptable. Apples, for instance. Lexan Super. Round, regular outline, skin yellow but thick grey russet with rather dull red. Flesh white, soft, sweet and juicy. Milk shall have the characteristic flavour, odour and appearance of good quality fresh full cream milk, free from sourness, off flavours, preservatives and added water. Shall contain not less than 8.4% milk solid, 3% butter fat. Carrot. Firm, well formed, free from woodiness, green core, damaged by frost. Mustard. Sound, white, cultivated button with membrane firmly intact. But there's more to it than merely setting high standards and then waiting for the food to come in. Heinz works very closely with their contracted suppliers to see that the food is nurtured towards their specification from the start. The history of a field being an important matter before the crops are even planted. There are strict rules, too, about pesticides. Flavor and nourishment fade from food after picking. Cooperation with farmers means that crops can be harvested at the peak of their condition and cooked and canned sometimes within hours. And during the cooking and sterilization, everything is carefully controlled to retain this maximum nourishment and flavor. It matters of color, too. How do you get the rich redness into tomato ketchup? If you look at the label on the bottle, you'll see that for Heinz there is only one way. The red comes from the tomatoes and nowhere else. The rich red of ketchup. The warm gold of soup. The soft red of baked bean sauce. Comes from the sunshine of southern Europe, where whole farms have been geared to churning out the very special tomatoes that Heinz demands. Why has this carrot no green woody core? Not because someone has found a way of hiding it, but because that's the way the specification said it should be. There's something else on the label you'll notice. Heinz use no preservatives in their food, not even those allowed by law. The food is made safe by heat sterilization, but too much sterilization can destroy the flavor and the nutritional value. Good food is healthy food to start with. Healthy food, handled under strict hygiene regulations, needs the minimum of sterilization to make it absolutely safe. Of all the careful controls applied to see that the chef creations are reproduced as faithfully as possible millions of times, control over the raw food itself plays the biggest part. It's the best guarantee you've got that in the can there is good food and nothing else. No chemicals, no need for colorings or artificial flavors or preservatives. 
its food value and purity at least as high as freshly cooked food and possibly higher. There's only one thing left to find out. What's it like? Why don't you find that out for yourself?